Welcome to Art Making at Home with the Rollins Museum of Art. I'm Milana Nagy. For today's activity, we'll be creating pinch pots inspired by ancient South American effigy jars. For today's activity, you will need some air dry clay and some texture tools like pencils, straws, or cookie cutters to use as decoration for your pinch pot. But before we get started, let's learn a little bit more about our unknown ancient South American artist. Take a moment and look in your kitchen and list the kinds of food containers you see. Did you find plastic bags, glass jars, or cardboard boxes? Before any of those existed, people use a natural resource, clay. Clay can be molded, shaped, and fired into almost any shape and size. Pottery is the process of forming vessels and other objects with clay. The clay is then fired at high temperatures to give it a hard and durable form. The first use of functional pottery vessels is thought to be in 9000 BC. These vessels were most likely used to hold and store grain and other foods. We still use ceramics to hold foods today, but it's more common to use plastic. This clay object is an effigy jar, a vessel used to hold offerings for deceased individuals. It is from ancient South America, approximately 250 to 400 AD. These effigy jar vessels often included clay sculptures of people, plants, and animals. The artist and exact purpose of this jar is unknown, but the shape and decoration of it can tell a lot about its function. The artist used black and red lines to create geometric patterns on the vessel, along with a small beak-like mouth and closed eyes. Its round body is large enough to hold materials without it spilling over the top, but its detailed decorations suggest that it wasn't used as an everyday object. As you create your pinch pot, think about how the shape and decorations of it connect to its purpose. Is your jar more of a decorative or sculptural object? or is it a useful everyday object? The ancient South American effigy jar we're looking at is made out of clay. Clay can be used for a lot of different things. It can be used for dinnerware, like pots, jars, and plates, or it can be used for sculptural objects, like these two statues over here. Now that we've learned a little bit about what an effigy jar is, let's take a moment to think like an artist. What purpose will your pinch pot have? How can the shape and decorations of your pinch pot connect to its purpose? For centuries, artists have been creating their own tools. Look around your home for objects that can be used to create texture. Here's an example of the pinch pots we will create inspired by the ancient South American effigy jar. Begin with a ball of clay that fits comfortably in your hand. If you want to add a design or face or handles onto your pot, set some clay aside for later. Insert the thumb of your dominant hand, the hand you used to write with, into the center of the ball, almost all the way through, but not completely through the bottom. Spinning the ball in your hand as you go, keep inserting your thumb and making soft pinching motion with your hand to begin forming your pot. Try to keep the hole at the top small. It's easier to make it bigger later than try to make it smaller. Use your fingers to press down on the bottom to keep it shape. As you work your way around, keep the thickness of the walls as even as possible and make sure the bottom doesn't get too thin. If your pinch pot gets wider than what you want it to be, fold it in on itself and press it flat with your fingers. You can also use a little bit of water to smooth out these seams.
Think about the purpose of your pinch pot as you shape it. If you want it to hold a lot of things, you should make it bigger. If it's not going to hold a lot, you can make it small. As you even out the sides of your pinch pot with your thumbs, you can also lightly tap it on the table to make the bottom flat, or lightly tap it on the top to make the rim, the edge of your pot, flat as well. Once your pinch pot is the size you want, think of your design. Use the extra clay placed on the side to create a face, shape, handles, or any other decorations you want. The purpose of my pinch pot effigy jar is to make me happy, so I'm using my extra clay to make a little face on my jar. I'm going to give it a little smiley face so that every time I see my little effigy jar, it'll put a smile on my own face. If you'd like to just paint or draw on your design, you can leave your pot to air dry overnight or follow the instructions to bake your clay and then add the decorations. Once your design or face is added on, leave your pot in a place where it won't be moved to dry. After it's dried, you can go in and use markers or paints to decorate it. You can see an example of some marker decorations on this kind of pinch pot. Thanks for joining me today to create pinch pots inspired by ancient South American effigy jars. Check out our other art making at home videos. Happy creating! Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this or visit us online at rollins.edu forward slash RMA to see all of our K-12 and educational programs.